Hello there, Looter Squadron, and welcome back to the channel, and we have an exciting emergency video for you this afternoon, as within the last hour, brand new in-engine gameplay footage for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga was released by an official WB Games account on Twitter. Now, in this video, we are going to break down the footage and what it showcases, but more importantly, we are going to talk about what this footage potentially means for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga going forward into the new year. But before we get into that, Andreas, I believe we have an important message for everybody. Yeah, we do. So as you guys know, we are putting together a second Q&A video. Uh, why is this important for you guys? Well, aside from interacting with the channel and getting an opportunity to ask whatever you want to ask uh, of Nick and myself, you guys are going to get an opportunity to win a brand new mystery LEGO Star Wars LEGO set. That's right, guys. You have a chance to win a brand new LEGO set that we will announce uh, what that LEGO set is at the Q&A itself. All you guys have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to enter the giveaway. Uh, like the video and leave a Q&A question down in the comments below. That's it. Really easy, free LEGO set. Subscribing doesn't cost you guys anything, so just get involved, don't miss out. Alright guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video and talk about this new footage. Now before we do anything guys, we just want to kind of show you all uh, the post itself. If you're not following Warner Brother Games Spain at WB Games Spain on Twitter, uh, you might have missed this tweet. I mean, I'm sure it's circulating by now by way of retweets, messages, likes, so on and so forth. However, uh, the uh, post is Boba Fett, Boba Fett Donde. As you guys know, uh, this is a riff on Han Solo saying, uh, Boba Fett, Boba Fett where? Uh, before he hits Boba Fett into the Sarlacc pit. Um, it, however, it is in Spanish. Uh, and then the post itself is a video of Boba Fett uh, kind of spinning his rifle in the air and then... It says, bounty or no bounty, you're coming with me. We can clearly see that this is in-engine footage, uh, and we've got a Bantha kind of chilling behind Boba Fett. Now, what's kind of cool about this is it kind of uh, looks like when you leave a player uh, or a minifigure idle for a while, they might do cool things such as flip their rifle in the air, um, or who knows, there might be an emote system. To me, it kind of looks like it's more of like when you leave a player idle, uh, they start doing cool little tricks like that. Uh, another thing worth noting is we're getting a look at the voice acting, which... A few people are kind of saying is a little bit rough. Honestly, in our opinion, uh, Nick, I know I, I'm not going to speak for you, but like, uh, come on, like this voice, uh, it's not really the best Boba Fett impression. It doesn't really strike me as Timura Morrison. I, I'm going to let you guys hear for yourself. This is what it sounds like. Bounty or no bounty, you're coming with me. I mean, what do you think, Nick? Like, are you happy with this? Uh, let's start off with, with the voice acting. What, what's your opinion there? You know, I just hope this isn't a sign of things to come for the rest of the voice acting in this game is how I'm going to leave it. Yeah, it's a little rough, but, you know, I still kind of think it captures the essence of Boba Fett. When I heard that voice, I still, if I closed my eyes and didn't know who was talking, I would still probably think that that was Boba Fett or perhaps Jango Fett. So, I guess it still kind of captures the essence of who the character is. I think the coolest thing to come from this new gameplay footage is the fact that this continues a series of marketing from TT and WB Games for this game, where they are showcasing different environments. We've had Dagobah, we've had Hoth, and now we see Tatooine. So, we've seen a wide cast of environments in this in-engine gameplay footage for marketing. Now, I think... The most important thing to come from this footage is what it means for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga going forward. I don't think what is actually shown in the footage is the most important piece. I think what it means is more important. First, this is the first time I believe that WB Games themselves has provided any sort of marketing or even talked about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga on any of their social media platforms, which is a big deal because up to this point, it has just been TT Games, and Andreas, you and I were talking before we sat down to film this video. 
the fact that this is coming from yet another international account where in our previous video we were talking about information coming from WB Brazil and now we have WB Spain talking about it really showcases that there is a line of communication between TT Games and all of these international communities, international companies, international versions of WB Games. Yeah, definitely is striking that, you know, this day where we release a video kind of commenting on uh, this Warner Brother Games account out of Brazil, uh, which was WB Play, uh, kind of commenting about when we should expect LEGO Star Wars news on, on the same day we're getting now this other uh, Warner Brothers source out of Spain this time, revealing not just, you know, what to expect from the game, but showing a new piece of the game that we've never seen before. Uh, a Boba Fett model, which I, I mean, I, I just have to say it. This Lego model looks really, really good. Uh, it is, it looks like it is clearly an original trilogy model of Boba Fett, not, you know, a sequel trilogy model. However, that's not here nor there. Um, my point being that for all of you guys that were kind of doubting the uh, fact that Warner Brother Games can possibly break news on this game, as we've been saying this whole time, uh, as the publishing label, they are well within their right to break stuff within this game, so long as they get approval through TT Games. And here it is, we're seeing it kind of in action here with them showing new parts of the game that we've never seen before, and obviously in conjunction with the eminent book of boba fett it is very appropriate that they are showing off boba fett stuff uh does this kind of lend more credence to our expectation that was formed from that brazilian page uh honestly for me a little bit like i'm, I'm kind of now thinking that these wb games groups all around the world are kind of getting something a little under the table from tt games a little bit of expectations as to uh when there is going to be some bigger news announced who knows maybe a release date is nigh uh i don't know i'm kind of getting that positive feeling right now what about you nick yeah you know the big thing is the fact that two days ago on christmas day we have a wb associated account on youtube talking about how there will be news in the new year and then all of a sudden two days later we have a wb account out of spain randomly posting marketing for this game i just gotta say when you look at all of the ratings now that are coming in over the last few weeks for all of these international communities and then you have these accounts saying oh yeah news is coming and then one of the accounts actually posts brand new gameplay footage and new marketing like they've never done before Things for this game are happening that have never happened up to this point. There are just things that have never happened when this game got delayed. So for me, I think the biggest takeaway is, again, like we said in our last video, I am becoming more and more confident in this spring 2022 release window simply because things are happening that have never happened before. The fact that we now have WB Games themselves marketing this game for the first time since this game has been released or announced, I should say, almost three years ago, I think this is a big deal. This really is. I think there are big things coming for this game. I really believe we are in the end game now and that spring 2022 looks extremely promising. I think it would take something catastrophic at this point to see this game delayed again. I really, really think we are coming to the end of this long wait. Also, if you take a look at all of the devs that are moving on, and the tweets that they are putting out over the last month where they are excited for the new year and things to come. There is just so much smoke that this game is finally near or at the finish line. And Andreas, like you said in our video earlier, where there is smoke, there is usually fire. So I am extremely confident. I really think this brand new gameplay footage that was shown off by a WB Games account for Spain is a huge deal. Because this is the first time something like this has ever happened. And it feels like every week we get to say this. There is something new happening for this game that has not happened before. And that can only mean good things, in my opinion. Funny enough, guys, uh, I have some breaking news in the middle of filming this video. Uh, one of our followers out of Denmark has actually sent us uh, a tweet saying that uh, they were able to see another post out of the LEGO Star Wars Danish group. Uh, which is a repost of the same Boba Fett video. Uh, I'm looking now at the uh, kind of English uh, page for Lego Star Wars game, and there's still nothing. So 
uh, just th- apparently this thing is kind of popping out on all these international pages uh, for Lego Star Wars, uh, verified pages, including now at least um, Spain and now Denmark. So um, I'm not sure what what's going on here. TT Games, WB Games kind of doing the international shell game with us. Um, I kind of like it, uh, to be honest, because it's very entertaining for us here. We love having breaking news in the middle of the video. Um, but guys, let us know in the comments down below. We love when you guys give us little tips uh, like these. All of you guys watching abroad, I know we have a big international audience here at Lunar Squadron. Just looking at our numbers, we have so many people from different countries, which is incredible. Let us know in the comments down below when you see something like this because we're not following like the Denmark page uh, so give us those shout outs and we will be sure to cover the latest and greatest Lego Star Wars news here on the channel uh, also guys in addition to that I just want to remind all of you uh, a few things first off jump in our discord it's a great way to get in communication with Nick and I as fast as possible and to hear from Nick and I as fast as possible it's kind of a direct line of communication between you guys and us also, uh, I just want to remind everybody to get involved in the Q&A by leaving a Q&A comment down below, liking the video, and making sure that you are subscribed to the Lunar Squadron. All you have to do is hit the little red subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell notification button so that you guys get notifications whenever we post these videos. Uh, like we've been saying throughout this video, we do try to hit, uh, we try to strike while the iron is hot with these videos uh, and really get you guys this news as fast as as possible so that notification bell is a great way to get that news to you again i just want to thank everybody for watching and uh, i think that's going to do it for today we will see you all next time